this video i'm going to discuss about uh, the proportional integral and derivative controller which is uh, known as pid controller in short and this pid controller is widely used in industries uh, for the control of uh, process variables and this module that is this uh, pid controller is available as a standalone module and it also available as a functional block in the plc and dcs uh, programs so this is the block diagram of a typical control system so this is the controller so which is the brain of your control system so which will uh, uh, use the command to the final control element suppose uh, if your process is the furnace where the temperature need to be maintained at a constant value then the temperature value is measured by using a feedback uh, device like thermocouple or td and it is given feedback uh, to the controller so depending upon the difference between the set point and the process uh, variable value measure so the controller will give command to the final control element so in this case the final control element may be a thyristor drive so which will uh, controls the voltage that is fed to the heating element of your uh, furnace so the the variables that are encountered in the process control system can we can uh, see uh, by looking into this example so this is the level control system where the tank level need to be maintained at a constant value so the level is measured by a process uh, sensor so it is fed back uh, to the level controller so the level here is the controlled variable so depending upon the difference between the set point and the feedback so the controller will give command to the uh, uh, final control element so here the final control element is the control wall which in turn controls the incoming feed rate for maintaining a constant value so here the manipulated variable is the incoming feed rate the first part uh, if you see in PID so the first uh, part is the proportional controller so the proportional controller output is given by a c of t equal to kc into e of t plus c of 0 where kc is the proportional uh, uh, gain so which is an uh, variable parameter and c of 0 is the bias value suppose whenever the error uh, equal to 0 in that case uh, the controller should give certain value so this is that bias value and error is uh, given as the difference between the set point and uh, the process variable measured and often the controller gain in proportional controller is in term expressed in terms of the proportional band which is given by pb equal to 100 by kc so this equation changes uh, like this so the proportional band we can set it as an arrow so whenever uh, the gain is large uh, which means that a small error will result a larger uh, response and we can say this proportional band is wide so whenever the gain is uh, small because they both are inversely proportional and this large error uh, in that case the large error will cause only a small response because the controller gain is less and the proportional band is defined as the range of error so which covers the 0 to 100 percent of uh, the controller output so this can be understood by looking into this uh, figure here if you take the process controller that is a proportional control is having a set point of 50 percent and a proportional band of 60 percent so 60 percent is around uh, the set point of uh, 50 so it is plus or minus 30 so the uh, so what is the range of error so 20 to uh, 80 percent suppose if you take this as a 0 to 100 degree scale so 50 is degrees was your set point so the proportional band is uh, from 20 degrees to 80 degrees so whenever the process variable is at 20 degrees so there will be a certain error of 30 um, degrees and similarly the whenever the process variable is at 80 degrees there is a error of 30 degrees so this is the range of error so that covers the 0 to 100 percent of the controller output so smaller proportional band will result in tighter control so if you take a smaller uh, sorry uh, a narrower proportional band so there will be a good control on the process variable but what is the disadvantage in that case so there is a lot of oscillations will come into your process variable which may be not acceptable for certain applications 
so if you take larger uh, proportional uh, band that is wider proportional band so the control may be poor but there will be no oscillations in your process variable so depending upon your requirement so the proportional band need to be selected so the one of the disadvantage with the proportional controller itself if you are using the only proportional controller so the process will not reach the set point so there is an offset that is there is a steady state error so if you take um, time tends to infinity so the process variable never reach the uh, set point so there is an offset which is known as steady state error so this is the disadvantage of proportional controller and this can be eliminated by using the integral controller here we can see so the proportional plus integral controller that is known as pi controller so equation is given by c of t equal to kc into e of t this is the proportional part plus kc by t e integral of e of t dt plus c of 0 so this is the integral part so the response of the pi controller uh, can be uh, visualized so by use by considering a step change in the error so here we can see c of t equal to kc plus kc by ti in, into t plus c of 0 so there is a uh, ramp change in the controller output if you give a step change in the error so integral of step is the uh, ramp that is a t so which is uh, causing a ramp change in the output that is controller output so the integral parameter like proportional control parameter kc so integral uh, control is also having a parameter so which is often expressed in terms of minutes per repeat ti or repeats per minute ki so here you can see so whenever uh, the minutes per repeat are uh, used so 1 by ti integral of e of dt whenever uh, uh, repeats per minute are expressed so it is expressed as ki into integral of e of dt so for example if an error of 5% appears between the process uh, variable and the set point uh, which is having integral value of 3 repeats per minute so means 3 repeats per minute means number of times the integral controller is repeating the proportional action so which we will see in the coming slides and the controller is having a gain of 2 so then we can see output uh, that is a controller output how it is changing so output will begin ramping at a rate of 5% so which is the error into 3 which is the uh, integral uh, uh, parameter that is repeats per minute so which is uh, uh, equal to 15% so without uh, controller gain and if you include the KC value so it is uh, coming to 30% with controller gain the step response of the PI controller is given by C of T equal to KC that is the proportional controller gain plus KC by TI into T so in the integral of step is the ramp that is T plus C of 0 so this is uh, um, better understood uh, from this figure so whenever a step change in error occur so this is the controller output so this is the bias value from bias value the controller output uh, is given um, by this so this is this is the controller output due to the proportional controller so from here so the controller output is due to the integral uh, action so the units of integral time as we discussed are minutes per repeat that is ti are repeats per minute so here we have taken the minutes per repeat that is ti so and this is defined as the time taken by the integral action to repeat the proportional controller action so here we can see so this is the step change in the error and this is the output due to the proportional controller action so the time ti is defined as the time the integral action is taking so to repeat the proportional controller output so after time ti so the integral output will give the same output as proportional action so here you can see it is a 2kc so from this we come to know so that smaller the value of ti so the faster the response and larger the value of ti slower the response so depending upon your process requirement you have to tune uh, this uh, process parameter that is uh, uh, process controller parameter so larger the ti so the integral action is becoming low that is uh, controller output becoming low and smaller the ti 
so the integral output uh, that is controller output is uh, high so these uh, ti values can be attended can be better understood uh, from this figure so these are the uh, three different uh, process variable uh, characteristic with three different uh, integral times uh, so here we can see so this is the ti1 ti2 and ti3 so ti1 is lesser uh, because smaller the value so faster the integral action so within this time the controller action is repeating the uh, proportional action so it is very fast but what is the disadvantage here it is introducing an overshoot so with uh, ti3 so larger integral time uh, value so there is no overshoot but the uh, the process response is very slow so the optimum uh, value is uh, selected uh, that is known as a process tuning so in that so the best value of these uh, process controller parameters are selected so pd that is a proportional derivative controller so this is an another important uh, controller mode that is derivative mode so so this i am discussing in the combination of uh, proportional controller so so whatever here we have seen in this so there is a overshoot so if your application requires a faster response at the same time uh, with uh, no overshoot so in that case the derivative mode need to be added so the derivative mode what it will do it will suppress this uh, overshoot at the same time maintaining the faster response it is also known as rate control the derivative control is also known rate control and or anticipatory control because it is anticipating the future so it acts upon the derivative of the error so it is most active when the error is changing rapidly it serves to reduce the process oscillations so the controller output of pd controller is given by kc into e of t where e of t is the error plus kc td that is the td is the derivative uh, controller parameter into rate of change of the error it is not acting on the constant error it is acting on the rate of change of the error plus bias value controller bias value so the unit of the derivative uh, controller is a derivative time td and this is the length of the time the derivative mode that this looks into the future for uh, taking the anticipatory action suppose if the derivative mode is set for a time td so it will generate the corrective action immediately when the error start changing and the size of that correction will equal to the size of that correction that the proportional mode would have generated td time later the definition of uh, the derivative parameter td can be understood from this figure the action of the pd controller can be visualized by considering the response to a linear change in the error and linear change in the error is considered as a into t where a is the amplitude of the ramp and t is the ramp equation and the pd output equal to akc into t this is due to the proportional mode plus akc into td this is due to the derivative as uh, the derivative of ramp equal to 1 so the d by dt is replaced by 1 here plus e of 0 this is the bias value and whenever a ramp change in the error occurs the initial output uh, due to the derivative action is given by akc into td and uh, this is this derivative action uh, is equal to the proportional action proportional controller output um, what it will give uh, in time td later so because of that so higher the value of uh, td so the more uh, the derivative action will look into the future and more corrective action it will provide here we can see so increasing the time uh, td so will increase uh, the derivative controller output so unlike if you see so in uh, integral uh, time ti so larger the value of the ti so smaller the integral controller output so whereas the derivative action output is reverse so increasing the derivative time so will increase the derivative action uh, output so because of that so the further the future the derivative mode predicts and larger is its uh, correct contribution the PID controller uh, so all together if you uh, give uh, the equation is given uh, by this so proportional term integral term and the derivative term and if you see the uh, responses of uh, different uh, controller modes so for a process variable here we can see so this is the control variable deviation from the initial value so this is the initial value so this axis is the initial value 
so with no action control action so there is a large deviation from the initial value with proportional action 2 if you see there is an offset so this is the disadvantage of the proportional action with proportional integral here we can see this is the third one so there is no offset so offset is decreased compared to the proportional action but here we can see there is a large overshoot in the process variable and this can be further reduced by using the PID controller so here this fourth um, uh, response is the PID controller response so compared to all the responses PID controller is giving and a better uh, process uh, variable response the unit step responses of uh, p pi pd and pid controllers is uh, shown here so this is the input uh, to the controller mode this is the proportional controller mode integral controller mode derivative controller mode and the combination of the controller modes so what is the input that is uh, the uh, error uh, error input so whether it is step pulse ramp or sinusoidal and what is the process controller output so here from this table we can see thank you for watching my video